What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set a custom status on Discord. It's really simple. What is the custom status? Well, if I pull across my Discord client over here, on the right hand side, you'll see a couple of Discord statuses here, such as this one down here and my little friendly icon underneath my username, this one right here. Of course, to use animated icons and the rest, you'll need Discord Nitro. But for the rest of it, you don't. It's pretty cool. So to begin setting up your own custom status, all you need to do is click your profile image in the bottom left hand side of Discord. Inside of here, click edit custom status and you're able to enter text as well as choose an emoji by clicking the left hand side over here. You can then pick an emoji, enter text, clear after, today, four hours, one hour, 30 minutes and don't clear and set a status such as online idle, do not disturb and invisible, which you can also change by clicking your icon in the bottom left from that menu. The only thing you'd want to come in here for is to set the text status and set a little friendly icon. If you don't enter anything in the text area, yours will appear something like mine. Listening to Spotify and my friendly little icon is showing next to it. If you enter any text here, that text will override practically any game you're playing or Spotify. It can be rather annoying, but it is something you can do. If in the future you'd like to clear your status, click the icon in the bottom left and then hit the X next to edit custom status. It's that simple. If you're on a mobile device, such as iOS or Android, again, click your icon on the bottom side of your screen, followed by set status, where you're able to click set custom status, which is basically this button down here, and you're able to fill in information very similarly to how you are able to on computer. Select an emoji, time to clear, and then click save. That's basically it. You now know how to do it for PC and mobile, and that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. My name is Ben Technoba here for Troubleshoot. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.